Hey there. We usually meet here at this desk to do some programming. I show you how to create mobile application using the Flutter framework. We do some functional programming in JavaScript and I show you some tips and tricks in Emacs, my favorite editor. Today I would like to do something different. I would like to share with you my thoughts on programming in uh, general. And in particular, I would like to tell you about the next programming language you should learn this summer 2019. So I hate those videos when you have to wait for the answer till very, very end. So I will give you the answer straight away. The language you should learn this summer 2019 is closure. So before we dive in and before I explain why this language is the best language to learn, why you should listen to me? What's so different about me and, and my views than any other average Joe programmer out there who programs in some in one language or few languages and, and shares some ideas? No disrespect to any Joes out there. Joes are great people. In fact, there is one Joe very influential on my thinking about programming. So why me? I'm a programmer professionally for more than 15 years. But on top of that, I've been very active in the programming community. I've organized many technical conferences and in particular, there are two which were my own creation. So the first one is called Ruby, which was created in 2006 and it was about Ruby and Python programming languages. And the second one is called Polyconf, which was meant to promote the idea of polyglot programming. So the idea was to encourage people to learn many programming languages and not to be limited just to one or two, as it usually is in this industry. I've been organizing those conferences through 13 years now. This allowed me to not only be exposed to many programming languages, but I was also meeting with creators of those languages and I was vetting, inviting speakers who were not only deep in particular programming languages, but also some of them were creators of those languages. And through that, it allowed me to learn a lot about different point of views, different paradigms, especially for Polyconf. The idea was to cover lesser known programming languages, such as Haskell, Racket, Erlang, Crystal, Neem, etc. There's a lot of lesser known programming languages and my goal was to help people promote those languages. So I had many discussions about which programming language is the best and how a particular programming language differs from any others. And today I would like to share with you the programming language I think is the best for beginners and the best for people who already program, either to start the journey with programming or to level up your skills quickly. Today, programming languages are pretty similar one to another. If you start with any programming language, if you are motivated enough, it will allow you to have a deep understanding and understand programming in general. But I think there are some shortcuts. And one of those shortcuts is closure. And I will give you three reasons why I think this is the best language to learn. These three reasons will be, number one is Java, number two is JavaScript, and number three is Lisp. So let's unpack each of those points. So first, Java. So you know, there's the Java programming language and the Java programming language runs on the Java virtual machine. I encourage you not to learn Java it's a, an average language at best. At the same time, the JVM, the Java Virtual Machine, is a remarkable piece of software. And it allows not only to run Java programs, but you can also run other programming languages. For example, Scala, Groovy, and Clojure is one of those languages. If you are starting with Clojure, as a consequence, you will be exposed to Java. So if later on you would like to transfer to Java, it will be much easier for you because you will be already exposed to the ecosystem. And some people may say it will be just a bit, but I think it will be more than a bit. Uh, you will have to learn about how to install certain things. You'd have to learn about the ecosystem. Maybe the most important thing is that the Java ecosystem is extremely vast. So if you are planning to earn a lot of money quickly working for big banks or insurance companies doing some boring programming, 
Java is for you. And if you are starting with Clojure, you are getting this advantage that not only you will learn an interesting programming language, but you will already be exposed to this whole ecosystem. In Java, the ecosystem is huge. And if you will ever work with legacy systems, so especially in banks or in some industries which still use some very old software, there's a high chance that there will be some libraries in Java and not in other programming languages. If you learn Clojure, you will be able to use those libraries. So you will be more efficient this way. So the first reason, Java. If you are thinking about going into that direction, Clojure is kind of like a shortcut. The second reason is JavaScript. So it's almost the same story here. If you are a beginner, just a side note, the Java programming language is completely different than the JavaScript programming language. These are two different things, although they share the name a little bit. So if you are starting with Clojure, you will be again exposed to JavaScript because Clojure can be also used with JavaScript. So we say that Clojure can be transpiled to JavaScript, can be converted to JavaScript. So we can use Clojure and there is a flavor of Clojure called ClojureScript to do JavaScript programming. And in fact, Clojure and ClojureScript, it's exactly the same thing. The difference is, is that Clojure targets the JVM, the Java Virtual Machine, while ClojureScript targets the JavaScript. So you learn one language and you can target two, the two biggest ecosystems as well. So again, it's very similar. You will have to learn about JavaScript. If you are using Clojure, you have to learn about libraries, you, about the whole ecosystem. Just by learning one programming language, you will be exposed to both the Java ecosystem and to JavaScript ecosystem, which is a huge advantage. And the last reason why you should learn Clojure is it, it's because it's a Lisp. So Lisp is one of the oldest programming languages. By learning Lisp, you will quickly extend your horizons, so to speak. You will be able to understand how software evolves. You will learn about the history of programming. You will see how ideas tend to repeat themselves. Lisp is special because while other programming languages are just programming languages, they say that Lisp is slightly different and some people call it programmable programming language. I don't want to explain what it means exactly. There is something special about Lisp that allows you to bend it, to make it your own way, which is usually not possible in other programming languages. So there you have it. Three reasons, Java, JavaScript and Lisp, why you should learn Clojure as your next programming language. Some people say that Clojure is difficult to get started, to learn or to, to get started. Some people complain about the syntax because in Lisp and in Clojure as well, you use a lot of parentheses. But for me, these are just minor things and you shouldn't bother about them. If you're a beginner, I think your mind is plastic enough to just get over it. And if you are very motivated, you can quickly overcome that. So just stick with it, be regular, don't push things if you want. Don't just try to learn it as fast as you can. Try to reflect, take your time to, to learn closure. Once you do, you will see that it really gives you this enormous advantage compared to other programming languages. It will elevate your skills quicker than any other programming languages. You will not only be a better programmer, but you will also have a deep understanding of the history of programming, which is also important to really deepen your understanding in this field. So there you have it. Closure. See you next time.